Hello, Night City. Thank you for tuning in to WPMG 150, The Postmortem. I'm your host, David Jones, and we're here to give you some of the best entertainment this side of the corporate zone. But before we get into that, how about that gunfight in Pacifica last night, huh? I was at home in Rancho Coronado and saw the fireworks cross in San Marro Bay. Talk about fucking crazy. Might have been some RPGs even fired off. Hey, whatever the case, someone in South Night City pissed some folks off. Hell, maybe it was just a celebration for the upcoming TNT concert this weekend. Now, we all know the new trash has been burning up local venues, but can they milk their new corpo contract for all it's worth? Rumor has it their old manager, Chet, <laughs> Chet, signed some crazy new band. He's got to be steaming after getting fired. Heard the drama was insane. Anyways, before we get back to the music, let's have a word from our sponsors. At Rockland Augmentics, we believe that cyberware can restore functionality and improve quality of life. So whether you're in need of a replacement limb or just want to upgrade yourself to meet the changing needs of today's world, remember, Rockland Augmentics will provide the best cyberware you can get anywhere. Next time you see your doc, ask about our sports line. Rockland Augmentics. Cyberware for humans, by humans. ZChat by Ziggurat brings you Napa, the fastest neural agent processing accelerator on the market today. Talk twice as fast all night long. ZChat, named the best chat app by Night City Today News. Brought to you by Ziggurat. You won't be the wimp anymore with Pro Kibble. It's scientifically designed to rebuild the molecular fibers of your muscles. Stronger, faster, and better with 12 creatic amino acids. And it's delicious. Need a drink that can keep you going at four in the morning? Your tunes leaving you in the dust? You need Smash Energy. Smash, kick your other habits in the face. Smash, high energy, high life. Connecting your best possible self to your best possible result. Ziggurat, connecting everything. All right, so here we kick off our next episode of our cyberpunk session with the band getting ready to play their gig in the Nomad camp. It does not go as they expect, and we'll see what happens. Everybody's settling in for the show. you got probably about a good 20 or so minutes before you have to get live. So you guys got a little time if anybody wants to address the shit that just went down with Vox. Up to you all. No, no, I think we're just going to let the show go on and we'll worry about his fucking weird-ass behavior later. Z's actually going to well, look him dead in the face and go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'll just keep walking. I'll walk past her and in a real low tone, I'll just let her know, be ready, something is going to happen. On it. And I will basically make my way to everyone. Okay. That's All a Morse us, code counts And I'll language, let them know something yeah. is going to happen and yeah. Tyra's not comfortable with it, so be ready. Yeah, did you uh, did you hear about that uh, Militech, Militech convoy that got hit? No. Okay, well, there was. Just recently. I'm not sure, but it may have been these guys. Oh, well, that doesn't go well. So there's that out there. But, uh, Keep your eyes open. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, we're going to have a great show. It's going to be great. Okay. Hey, are you, sweet on, are you sweet on Tyra, by the way? Is that no, a, is that I, thing? I love fucking with people. Oh, okay. All right. Such make a sure. creeper. I mean, not that I'm going to take a run at her or anything, but I just, just want to know what the score is. <laughs> take a run at her. <laughs> Z will lean over and say very, very quietly, take a run at her. Please save that poor girl. All right. I'm going to show that everybody the awesome um, logo and banner for the band that uh, Nate made. Get it you know, where it's going to show well on the screen here. Scroll down a little bit. There we go. It's so really this great. is very badass this is the slogan that got made for the band which is pretty awesome i, I love it um human merchandise, merchandise for, for sale. sale there you go that's the name of your album yeah uh, so <laughs> this is what's on the t-shirts that are being you know sold at the merch booth right now that's manned by that younger nomad um as the time starts ticking down to the show's ready to start you guys start getting a little bit of the pre-show jitters here because you guys haven't played live really much at all 
most of your shows have been on the data pool, which you know can be cut if something goes wrong. Uh, you can do whatever you need to to fix things. You can put a lag in the you know the broadcast. Here, there is no room for error. Like you're playing playing live. But you guys have done a couple live shows, and you know that fucking up is part of the experience of doing a live show. But it's being able to roll with the punches and work with it. But on the plus side, all of your instruments have been tuned fucking preem. Like, this is great sound. Some of the best sound you ever had is coming out of your monitors right now. So as you guys get set up, the crowd can kind of feel that we're getting close to the time. So people start, the, the, the conversations get a little quieter all around the campfires and the bonfires. And people start kind of getting a little bit closer to the stage. And the lights are now basically coming down on you guys from the outsides to highlight the entire stage and where you guys are all set up. Now you have a couple lights on the stage itself, but not that many, and it's not that great. But you don't really need it because, yeah, lighting's usually a good part of a live show, an important part, but your sound is just phenomenal right now, and that's the most important thing. So as this all gets to the pinnacle point of the evening for everybody gathered, which is the start of the show, this hush starts to go through, and you see El Pache walk up to the stage, nods to Vox and nods to all of you guys, uh, and he has a mic of his own, and he clicks it and kind of plugs into the, the speaker system. You see him look out at the crowd. He's like, now this is a sight that I love to see. My entire family extended in the bad parts. And you see some chuckles kind of murmur through the crowd. All here tonight to celebrate our recent score. We all came together, did an amazing thing. It's going to be remembered. Nobody's going to forget us. And in return for such a great job, I made sure to provide the best tonight. We got the best beer. We got the best food. And we got some pretty good, by the sound of it, entertainment. So... Without further ado, I'll let them get to doing what they do, and we'll all have fun enjoying it. He'll turn off the mic, give you guys a nod, he'll just kind of give you a salute with the microphone, and he heads off stage. And everybody goes quiet, waiting for you guys to open. All right, fair enough. So so why don't you tell me what your opening song is going to be, and just give me I'll a quick description later. of what it is. So the opening song I think we're going to start with is going to be Eat Shit Cunts. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I forgot about these titles. I forgot some so, of these titles. <laughs> it's basically the song itself. It's it's going to be a heavy hardcore song, uh, and it's about how it, it's about how I want to force feed everyone that is involved with like Continental and the big business of the Continental Food Company, and force feed them the bullshit kibble that they want poor people to eat, that they force upon people that they you know can't afford better food. Yeah, while executives actually eat real food. <laughs> right. Okay. That, uh, so you, I want you to roll your uh, instrument, your play instrument, which is your vocals for mm -hmm. me. Now, I will give you uh, a bonus of five on this check for all so your I also get a bonus needs. of two because of the, the box in me. So your bonus is totally a, to as a total of seven. Do you want to use and get, uh, use one of your dice and get, uh, you know, inspiration essentially, advantage? Um, no, not for this one. Actually, okay. you know what? Yeah, I want to open That's big. A open big, baby. Use one. Go big or go um, home. Add seven. Yep. Okay. That's a hell of an opening. So, holy shit. When you so that's hit 20, the stage. Plus six is 26. Plus seven. Plus seven plus is seven. 35. Jesus. So when you hit the stage... Like and just really let like Vo the persona of Vox just flow through everything, and the way you guys tune your instruments, it's explosive. Like as soon as the first opening oh, lines yeah, hit, really. you can see that Jose is like getting people around him to fucking sing along with him, and some of the other people throughout the crowd that have heard some of the music before recognize it. And like holy shit, I know that song, and they all start singing too. And once you hit the chorus, you've got almost everybody in the front row at least singing along with you as you're singing the fucking song. And it's just reverberating in this open air. And it's fucking... The hell of an open. Amazing open. Um, you don't need to roll that again. There's no way you need advantage on that check. That was just stupid no. good. You light them on fire. Like, you lit a match and threw it into a pile of fucking dynamite. And it just goes off the rails. People are drinking. Once you hit the second song, people are just already all about this. You know, people are waiting... For a break to kind of go get another drink because they want to be up here watching you guys perform. What's your next major one up? Because I know you guys made some of these song tiles and I want to give you a chance to show them off. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, so the <laughs> next one, I think we would do a, a couple of filler songs, not not any of our like the main hits, but just a couple to fill because we got to fill a two hour mark. So it's kind of kind of a little rough. But the next one uh, I think we'll do is probably Blood Money, which is a song about how Arasaka uh, basically makes blood money because they're they're weapon whores. They sell weapons. They sell murder. So you're just all equal opportunity fuckers right now. Just oh, everybody. yeah, for now. Everybody's oh. an asshole. We, we need to mask who we're actually going after. Otherwise, they're going to think we're going after that right. one company. Continental, fair enough. Mm-hmm. 19's not bad. No, it's not. Um, so while Mask comes up for a good. solo and tries to t- and takes the stage, I need you to roll your perception. The um, that's actually a 21, Jeff, because you have a plus two for your box. Yeah, that's difficulty true. is going to be... A 12. Okay, a 12. So you got it. Uh, essentially, you start seeing some people that don't seem to fit in with the crowd. So... Oh, well. <laughs> Max, a good attempt. I almost called you fucking Chet again. God damn it. What's going on? Because um, he's Chet, the original man. incarnation Because he's Chet. Chet. Yeah. He's so fucking Chet. Chet Sean, Origins. As Max is up front center stage doing a solo uh, to Blood Money, you kind of look out the crowd, just kind of get a gauge of where everybody's going. So you kind of lean into one direction that's more receptive or not. And as you're playing the crowd, you look over. Um, so if the stage is going straight ahead, to often to the right, just past a bonfire, you see three people that definitely don't fucking belong here because they're all dressed in suits. I will, like, while I'm doing my solo, I'll get to a point where, like, I'm letting something ring out or, like, I'm I'm paused a little bit, kind of, like, for tension or whatever, and I'll just, I'll, like, make it a point to, like, point at those three. Like, <laughs> call them out to the fucking, to, like, everybody in the place, like, ah, right there, right there. Oh, my God. So, you're like, in the middle, hey, right after guys. the solo, while this song's still going on, you're just pointing these fuckers out. You see people start looking at them, like, what the fuck? Like, it, they look uh, confused. Do a little, uh, like, police siren sound effect to help him out. <laughs> Start mixing it in. Change yeah. the drum beat to a heartbeat that's rapidly increasing. You guys see the crowd start to turn on these three guys. And I'm going to be a like, dick real quick. Uh, when when we're you gonna hype still singing the, the BPM? song. But every time the chorus comes up and the, the words blood money come out, I'll point to them and basically... Like I'm insinuating, they are wearing the blood money. Fuck those guys. So I don't know why they're here, but they need to go away. With your performance at this point, uh, and especially when you guys are kind of like owning the crowd and controlling it, um, Jeff, I need you to roll your uh, charismatic ability. Let me check this out really quick because I actually have another rocker boy here. Sure. So it's going to be your charismatic mm-hmm. impact. You just click that and rolls it. Basically, what this is going to do is see if you can convince some of your fans to do this thing for you. So it depends on how much you want to go for. You can impact a single fan with a DV of 8. You can do a small group of fans for a DV of 10. Or you can do a huge group for a difficulty of 12. I'll go with the difficulty of 12. So yeah. you're trying to get the whole group. All right, how much yep. luck do you want to spend? Because for every point of luck, you got a plus 1 to the roll. So I will use, why don't we use four luck? Okay. So that'll give me basically an eight to start with. Yep. Roll it and add plus four. Eleven. Fuck you. <laughs> use a die. Use a die. Use a die. I already, I already used a die. You already used one. That's why I re-rolled this. Um, I'll tell you what. If you want, I'll let you throw, because you're that close to it, I'll let you throw another luck point at it after the fact to get it. Sure. Do you have throw any luck, luck left? I do. I had seven. Okay, so you're down to two now for yep. the night. So as you start calling it out, and you make this obvious insinuation that these guys are the enemy in their midst, that entire part of the concert goers, like crowd, jumps them. Like they start a mosh pit <laughs> with them inside, and they didn't want to be inside. Okay. So yeah, they just place, jump you. these guys. The tide turns against them. And you'll see Jose and Leo go, oh, shit. And they'll just rush from the side of the stage to try to get to there because they can see these guys are just getting their asses beat by this sea of other nomads. They're trying to break it up as your song starts to fade. Do you want to just go kick off right into another one? Or are you going to address what's going on? It's yes. up to you. We're going to give basically the bassist and the... Um... 
uh, the bassist and the drummer will get the the solos this round for their song, and that'll be uh, DMS, Assume the Position, which is basically a song how diverse media system controls the public through lies and misdirection. Wow. So kind of like Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't going to stop till you kill somebody, are you? So uh, Quite potentially. So um, it takes pretty much the entire song for Leo and Jose to kind of pull those guys out. And they get them to the side, and people are just they're spitting on them. You see a lot of beer, like you know, bottles get flung in their direction as they're going to pull off to the side by essentially security. Um, and it's just not looking fucking good. God. As long as Jose and Leo are Damn, okay. Damn, dude. Um, oh, Twenty will work. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll pull them off, but just barely. They'll get them out of the the mosh pit essentially. But that pit doesn't stop. It keeps going. It just was like, you know what, fuck you. We're just beat each other up then. And it just kind of rolls around, you know, the stage around you guys. Um, as the rest of the show goes on, are there any main notes you want to hit while these guys are getting medical attention? Um, the well, we need to hit, we, we're going to have two intermissions because we have a, we have a two-hour set. Yep. So we're splitting in three parts. So we're, so we're going to need two intermissions. So what we'll do is right now we'll take an intermission. Okay. So we'll yeah, let it they're, get, they're getting they're Three getting guys almost aid. died. <laughs> but right? We'll take an it's intermission. A great start. So you guys will go ahead and intermission and they'll just kick up some random music on the back. I, I could just DJ. Um, yeah. That's fine. Well, you can DJ. I don't have to like throw my throat out or smash drums. I can literally go beep, chicka chicka, beep. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to play some, you just want to spin for everybody. All right. Yeah, I'll just spin. So you hear them start to play some music, and it stops as you like take over the sound system again, and just go through. I'll see. I'll see if I can't mix whatever they're playing into what I'm gonna play. Like it was intentional. Okay. Because we're professionals. Yes, of course. I am going to look over at Chet and kind of pay attention to what's going on. Chet's I'm still sitting on the couch with the uh, the head of the clan, and they're just like they're occasionally looking in the direction that that fight was at. You see Chet just kind of shrug, and they just, they're just talking. You can approach them if you want to. Like no, Nobody's really stopping anybody from going anywhere. They're just kind of sitting there talking. Nope, I'm just chilling. I'm just I'm expecting something to happen. I was curious if basically forcing the crowd to fuck those guys up fucked up any of Chet's plans. But it doesn't look like it. So. Well, not yet anyway. Looks right. solid. Cool like he's, cucumber, so. They're still just talking. Um, with I that right role... Back. CD managed to get that completely meshed in, like without skipping a beat. Like, like it, was, a it all appeared to be planned the whole fucking time. So, over the intermission, is anybody doing anything while the CD is kind of taking the four? I'll uh, I'll be looking around to see if there's any more out of place people or activity going on. Yeah, I'll be doing the same using the uh, my human perception and just kind of taking in what's going on. Okay, um, so why don't, why don't we get Max's perception roll first, and then we'll get Vox Tone's human perception. Nice. So nobody out of place. Um, it's It seems that, for the most part, the only people that are left around just kind of chilling right now is they go and get drinks and kind of take advantage of the intermission, like to like take a piss or get something to eat. It's just mostly the clan. Okay. Um, you, you see the three guys that are off to the side, but Jose and, and Leo are just kind of giving them like bandages and like some ice and shit. Cause they got fucked up. I thought yours was a 19. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. Go fuck your hand. 31? All right. So Holy, fuck. Holy shit. You, you get this bullshit roll that you just rolled. Um, and <laughs> your two modifiers actually did apply to that by the way. Um, but you get this amazing roll and you're kind of engaging the, the feel of the crowd itself. The crowd is still amped. And the guys who are in that mosh pit feel satisfied. They accomplished something for the good of humanity by beating the shit out of those guys in the suits. Now, right, the guys Corbos. in the suits off to the side are fucking pissed. And something about them is making, like, Leo and Jose a little uncomfortable. Um, but you catch Tyra again. Uh, and she's a little shaken by the fight that just went down. Uh, like, she wasn't really expecting somebody to get their ass beat. And she's... Give me your conversation previously with her. Her demeanor and the way she's slipping through her agent and like checking out the photos she's taken of that fight. She thinks this is exactly what Chet had planned. 
And she's just kind of like, what the fuck, dude? All right. Well, I will, uh, I'll let it be for now, just because it wouldn't make any point to go back and talk to her again because she doesn't know what's going on. She just knows something is going on. So and you're already scared the shit out of just, her once. Yeah, I'll just do my best to stay perceptive. Okay. So, as an intermission starting to roll down and Vox is heading back to the stage, the crowd's all starting to gather back and they're coming in for the second you know, series of the set. And um, it starts to get quiet again. Just like it did before the, the show started, they're just waiting for you guys to start. So we'll probably open up with uh, some serious DJ manipulation, basically giving Nate not the intermission, but um, actually having a, a big part in the beginning of this first set. Okay. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do some of the, the filler stuff. We'll close the second set out with uh, Continental Divide which is uh, the Continental Food Company again. It's yeah. how they divide people due to their monopoly over the food industry. Yeah, Sep separating out social structure, social mm -hmm. classes. Yeah, they're, they're mm -hmm. dicks. Um, <laughs> they are dicks. You don't have to roll. The crowd's pretty much putting your hands at this point. Um, they're just like <laughs> along for the ride at this point as you finish out. So second inter intermission hits. And that's when things go a little off the rails. Um, you will see... We're not going to be able to fucking bring out our new song, Those Sons of Bitches. The trio of bitches. is advancing on the stage. The three guys in suits. Like, you guys stop, let things go down. CD driver takes over again for, like, the intermission thing. Just sets up a playlist and lets it go. Uh, you guys are just relaxing for a second. And, like, maybe two minutes into the intermission, those three are approaching the fucking stage. Uh, from the I'll, front. I'll pull the mic. Are you guys yeah. in a band? I don't know. Are you? Or are you just a bunch of fucking assholes who are taking boy, shots at boy, things that you don't boy, understand? Boy, boy. We're number two. Boy, 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 cool. boy. Yeah, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. And he actually, you'll hear his voice modulate as he speaks to the crowd. Ten grand a pop for whoever brings me it's one, of those, one of those motherfuckers' heads right now. Booey, 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 booey. People are looking at him and looking at you guys. Like, not sure if he's serious. And I'll just kind of walk over to the edge of the stage and kind of look down at the three of them. And I'll modulate to them. Do it yourself, pussy. You see the guy in the on this the guy who was speaking, the guy in the white suit, just looks to his one of his people with him. The guy shrugs goes, fuck it, bonus day, and draws a gun. I'll draw mine. <laughs> okay. Cool. So We'll turn the volume all the way down. We will get a little switch. <laughs> we will get a little bit of a It's switch. time. It is time for a lot of things, gentlemen and ladies. Man, so, in the future, them corpse really take criticism poorly. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're they fucking came talking about all me. the way fuckers. out here. It's like the Microsoft store Give showing up at your door. <laughs> being like, I heard you were talking shit about our customer service. <laughs> You son of a bitch. All right, so I've got you guys put on the stage, but you, know, you can put yourself wherever you want to. You should have control of your tokens at this point. Yeah, I'm oh, going to yep, put okay. uh, these guys here. Cool. Man. So we got Chet right here. Okay. Uh, and these three guys right here by the fire. This is the guy who was talking shit in the middle with the tattoos right. up his neck. This is the guy who just drew his gun. And this is the other suit that's with him right here. Okay. Now, I got to move uh, Pache and Chet, actually, to be down where they're at, because they're at that couch, if you recall. Mm -hmm. um, Leo moves. He was actually over by this direction where they were originally. So, uh, essentially, what we got here is a bunch of nomads that are kind of scattered since animation started. They went to go get drinks again, and you guys came up and said some shit. Everybody's like, what's going on? Y'all taught some shit. They taught some shit. They drew some guns. Y'all drew some guns. So, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Is there an actual initiative? There should be an initiative button. button. Yeah, it's on. It's under the combat tab. Oh, initiative. Yep, I'll let you guys go ahead and roll, and I'll record. So we got eleven for. Oof, I rolled a one. There we go. Z is a thirteen. Cool. Polly's at a twelve. I got. I had to actually click on my stupid little face. Uh, uh, mine's like not working right. <laughs> thirteen. When I hit initiative, it says. You have to click on your icon. I, I, I figured it out. I got it. 
Thank All you, right. though. Appreciate you. <laughs> Didn't need you talking smack, Jeff. Why, no, I, no, I, I, I appreciate it. It's just you said it like literally when I figured it out. Right on. It was more, I was being critical of how stupid I am. Can you dig it? What? How is that even possible? He has no reflex score. Uh, that's some bullshit because he does. He just rolled a five, so. Yep. Uh, play it as it lies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I'm, John? I'm not going to add no, no, a reflex. Don't set precedent, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he is on a 13. Um, and he goes, same as me. And same as Jeff. His buddy Richard. Is shit here. That his name is Richard. That's so Dick. Bitch. Dick Berber. Dick Berber. Beep, beep, Richard. Dick Berber. His didn't, his didn't add his Dick stuff Berber. either. Well, that's a hard act to follow. And then we got the main guy himself, the guy who's talking shit. Let's we'll see if his works. Says he's got a dex of seven. Let's see what happens here. Nope. That definitely didn't add because he didn't roll a one. He rolled an eight. So he's got a 15. Nope, all zeros. Jeff, you're about to get shot in the face. I hope you know. I'm about to get fucking shot. All right, so... Um, You're all zeros because you didn't click on the right guys. I did, but I don't know what's going on. Otherwise, it wouldn't... Oh, no character sound for selected. What's That's fucked up. All right, so... Um, probably because it wasn't right. attached. The icon was not attached to him. That's probably why I there didn't do it. There you go. That's what, the, what the deuce? Yeah, I know. This is just a failure. <laughs> Fucking stream fail. Oh, I love it. That's okay. We have math brains. We can do it. All right, so... Speak for yourself. Um, I don't math. We'll do the, the lowest declare first, and we go to the highest doing their action first. So, Sean and Nate, what are um, Max and <laughs> CD doing? Uh, it is a free action to draw a weapon. Uh, well, I'm going to uh, drop behind my kit and draw a weapon. Okay. That's what you're going to end up doing, Sean? What's Max doing? Well, uh, draw my heavy pistol and i will say into the microphone looks like militex just hit back for their shit and then i'll dive behind something <laughs> oh no! oh Damn. shit um chris you're up next uh right about Isn't here that? okay he's gonna land a flashbang grenade okay so you're like blink and gonna throw it it's <laughs> yo yeah. um that brings us to jeff and jesse and the guy who drew. Uh, he's obviously going to be shooting. I prime target this man right here. Who drew That's the guy who drew. Yep. Yep. I, he's about to have a bad night. I'm going to duck and fucking cover because I don't want to get shot in the face. Uh, but I'll also be drawing my gun and I will shoot him if I can. So remember, there's no partial cover. <laughs> you have to be fully covered or you've got nothing. The last two guys, which is one is the guy who's in the middle, the actual exec that was talking shit, is going to bear down. He's going to throw down and draw two and shoot at Vox, and his bodyguard is going to shoot at Vox as well. They're both on fifteen. They're going first. So bad day for me. Let so me. You're aware. I'm, I'm pulling my machine gun. <sighs> oh, that comes oh, out of duck and cover. Okay. You're gonna be fucking a right. This is a show. You're gonna come fuck with us. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> he's, he's opening his guitar case and pulling out his guitar. Guitar right. case. It's guitar. time to rock and roll. Wow. All right. So uh, Wilson's just shooting General Center of Mass on uh, on you know Vox. Let's so see. hopefully I don't die. Uh, it's yeah. Hopefully it'd be hard to replace you as a singer. So oh at that range, he's definitely got you at. Uh, don't you have enough samples at all? It's so, true, but I mean, I can't replace his. The difficulty is based on range. So we're roughly about, I'd say, within six meters or so, or six yards. So the difficulty is only a 13 mm -hmm. to hit you. He rolls a 19, sure. he hits. Um, yeah. Let us see about that damage then. Oh. So what's so, your armor? My armor is. Light armor uh, is SP-11. So it just dings off the first shot. The second shot, because it's rate of fire two, goes off. Mm -hmm. Hits again. Five. Dings off as well. So literally you feel the two rounds pelt you in the chest and just push you back like a step. It's just bruising. You'll feel it in the morning especially, but nothing gets through. So you count your P's and Q's on that one, and you're doing good. Uh, and then it gets to his bodyguard. Which could be more painful. Which is Richard. 
Come on, Dick. Dick, Dick Berber. Dick Berber. Wow. Dick Berber. He's going to have a song named after him. Yes, he That's is. That's it. Hits. Seven dings off as well, the second attack. Hits. That didn't ding off. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's a... Okay, it's it's not uh, two sixes, so it's not a crit. But you take 16. So wow. you, you Well, your armor takes 11, right? So yep. you take five, but... So where is my hit points on a character? Okay. Your armor gets ablated by one point, so your armor goes down from an 11 to a 10. One, two, Dude, you just got ablated. Hit. Okay. I have taken it. So that is actually punctured skin. Yeah, that's actually Some blasted bitches. through and hurt a tad. It's ouch. And that brings us to Vincent, who drew down to shoot you and did say he was shooting you in the face. That is true. He did say he was shooting you in the face. So this all happens at this, this sort of series of attacks happens at the same time. So we'll just see what happens with it. I'm going to go ahead and roll him really quick. It is a called shot, which means he does have a penalty. It gets harder to hit you. And the penalty for doing that is a... It's all right. Provided I don't die, I plan on finishing this show. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, yeah, that's, we need fair. to get paid, man. No, not just that. I have a new, we have a new song to fucking unveil. Oh, my God. Yeah. We don't get to do the on. new song? That's what I'm really mad about. I don't care if we're playing to a bunch of corpses. So his, his role is at a negative eight because of the called shot. So he is going to, and he has to get a 13, so he has to get a 21 or better. He is going to spend one of the dice so he gets advantage. Good call. Can't deny the man the advantage. Yeah, he's going to need it to try to hit you. Yeah, we'll see what a, happens. Could be rough. So NPCs are down to three, and we'll see if he can do what's called bringing the pain. So he needs a, let's do the modifier, let's try and see if that can get that to work. No dice. That didn't, um, include the modifier again for some oh, reason. Yeah. Didn't factor in anything. So he needed a 21, guy 17, but he gets the reroll because he used the dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Jeez. Fucking botch. Gun jam. The gun <laughs> jams. It's like Jeez. click on the second shot, on that first shot. Like literally you see, as as Vox is standing there, he sees the, the barrel line up with his face and the trigger gets pulled and the gun jams. That's beautiful. God. Which brings us to you and Jesse. Let's go Who wants ahead, to go Z. first? Go ahead. You go first. All right. Uh, I'm shooting a motherfucker. Who do you want to shoot? Uh, Vincent, you said, right? Uh, the one who pulled his gun yeah, first. Yeah, the guy whose gun just jammed. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to just shoot normally? It's going to be a 13 if you do that. If you want to do a called shot, it goes down by 8. Well, um, it goes up by 8, I should say. I'll shoot normal. Okay. Now, what type of gun do you have? Very heavy pistol. All right, so it's a one shot. And a 21 hits. You could have shot him in the face. Nice. Blap, blap. Sweet. 21, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, Good fucking roll. That's a little rough. Uh, Very heavy rough. pistols are fucking nasty. That's why I was like, whoo, wait. So he's got, light, get these? Yes. he's got light armor jack as well. So that means 10 gets through. Uh, his armor goes down to 10 from an 11 because you ablate it. And he takes 10 health. God damn. You pop this guy squire in the chest, and he actually staggers Ooh. back and drops the gun that was in his hand. Uh, and that's the shit talker, right? No, no. That's the no. guy who, drew, who was like, it's like it's bonus day and pulled his gun on you. Oh, well, I'm shooting a shit talker. Okay. And I'm use, also using a very heavy pistol with basic VH pistol ammunition. Do you want to use any of your bonus? Di- nope. Okay. So 17 hits, you need a 13. I- uh, only 10. 10. I want to say his armor jack is going to cover that. Let me double check, though. Yeah, I think it's 11 for... Yep. So you yeah. pink off his armor jack, you make him stagger back towards the bonfire behind him. Doesn't fall in. Yet. Uh, fuck with my ammo real quick. Which brings us to Chris, who's throwing a flashbang. Right. Oh, you're throwing? Uh, oh, roll throwing? Mm-hmm. Or, excuse me, athletics is the... Yeah, there you go. Um... So you miss. Um, anyone hit by the attack must beat a DV-15 resist torture drugs check. Anyone who <laughs> fails suffers the damaged eye and damaged ear critical injuries. See page 188 for the next minute. Say. Okay, Vincent is not, so I'm going to put a little thing on him. Uh, we'll use that. And we will do Wilson because it's centered right by him. And it's only 10 by 10, so he'll roll. Why is he negative? Unlike a Cthulhu tech, my flashbangs are working. 
So he actually had a 19. So he actually goes through. Wilson's blinded, though. The guy in the middle who talks shit. All right, so... Daddy, da daddy's blind, huh? Yep, that pops off. He fucking screams as he gets completely blinded and deafened for uh, the next minute from the flashbang. Uh, the guy who got shot, Vincent, kind of throws up one hand to shield himself from the mo majority of it. Richard, his partner on the other side, uh, Dick, as you guys have been calling him, um, manages to completely just move his back and shield himself from it entirely. Which brings us to the lower on the round, which would be Nate and Sean. So, Max... And CD, what's going on? I know CD pulled the gun and took cover for a second. You can go ahead and shoot because you can still okay. do a move and shoot. Uh, which uh, which was the guy in the white suit? Where is he at? Boop, that's, right in the that's, middle. Okay, the guy with the... Okay. Uh, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to introduce him to my little friend. Uh, I'm going to full auto on his ass. All right. So you're going to go ahead and roll your auto fire for me. Yep. And the DC oh, that Jesus. got adjusted. Well, don't bother no because apparently on. I fucking failed. Yeah, you rolled a one. Oh, yeah, I rolled a one. Yeah. So, do you, do you want to have a toss one of your dice to re-roll that? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, yes, you fucking would. I, I like right. not getting shot by a machine gun. Uh, so what do I do with that then? Uh, just go ahead and roll again. Okay. Uh, do you want to add luck to it? <laughs> No. Nope. Whoa! Success. Holy shit! Damn. Well, was, what's what's the DV? Let me look at the uh, difficulty. The DV, I believe it's 15, uh, seventeen. Was that right. you, got, you got twenty six? So you're good. So. I got twenty six. Well, that so my damage is two so, d six plus one for each point over the DV. So here's the thing: you're I don't assault do magic, rifle, right? I do science. Yeah. One takes brains, the other takes dark eyeliner. Zero to six is twenty two. Zero to six yards. So you're within that range. So it's 22, but you add four to the roll. So you got four. Four above, essentially, is what I'm saying. It's in the errata. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't have that. So, uh, okay. So yeah, it's, I'll, I'll get you errata. That's okay. Uh, so you, since you got a 22 normally, it says uh -huh. critical success, add four to the roll. So you go ahead and those four are going to be your successes, overs, okay. essentially. Um. I don't know how to add that to the damage thing, the little ticker. So should I just like? Is it four can, damage that gets added, or four no, dice? It's four that gets dice. Added? Uh, just change the damage dice to your gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. And then put it back after you roll. Oh. Yep. Okay. Tyke gave NPCs a die and Holy carried it two for the players. Fuck balls! All right, so. That's, oh, that's shit. fucking painful. Well, Holy it is a fully otter rocking. That's true. God damn, he just rips this machine gun out and just starts laying waste. <laughs> I told you, I was introducing him to my little friend. God, no Excuse shit. me while I whip this out. So They didn't take his hint when he kept on Scarface. making noise while they talked. <laughs> now he's going to silence them. Holy fuck. So he gets 10 away from that, which means he still takes 21, which means he's down to fucking A, man. You hit him so hard, you almost make him lose humanity. Falls in the fire? <laughs> Did he get knocked into the fire? Uh, no, he just drops. He gets riddled with bullets oh. and just like fucking falls on the one side. And it's just Sometimes bleeding. Like you hazard things. bay, motherfucker. And it's just bleeding. He just yells out of habit, SECURITY! As he hits the <laughs> ground. Awesome. Um, which brings us to uh, Sean. What is what is Max doing? That's fucking insane. Oh, yeah, okay. So now I got three. Okay. Uh, I was pulling my heavy pistol, and then I was just, I was going to say into the microphone, um... Oh looks yeah, like here's the Militech. Like Militech. Yeah, it looks like Militech is back for their shit to try and incite the nomads to fucking help us fuck these idiots up. The, the nomads are fucking shocked. Like, they're expecting the concert and machine gun fire has just erupted. They're like, what the f Everybody's confused. Yeah, uh, they won't you'll... be confused once we put them down and immediately resume our set. You see Chet at the end of this, this round, John was like, stop! And we go to the next round. Slowest get the announce first, you know, per usual. Uh, Nate, would you like to adjust any of your solo dice? Remember, you have those four uh, points you can put places. 
Yes. Um, I am going to um, put three of them towards precision attack, and I'll keep one for fumble recovery. Okay. Damn. This is where the solo puts in work. Yeah. Um, so it's since you and Sean are, are the lowest on the initiative, what do you guys want to do? Well, there's probably someone else who has a gun out that's pointed at someone that's either me or my band members, so they'll get full auto too. So Vincent dropped his gun that you can see. The guy who, like the one that jammed that was going to shoot mm-hmm. your, your front man in the face. His gun mm-hmm. jammed, then he got shot, and he dropped the gun. The other dude has a heavy pistol. Yeah, I'll fucking shoot him in his fucking body area. Yeah, that's this douchebag right here. Um, cool. Sean, what about Max? Max has shouted this out, and people are looking confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this, it just erupted into chaos. Yeah, I'll be shooting the dude who had, uh, whose gun jammed, because I'm assuming he's going to go for another gun or another weapon or something. That would be a good assumption. So you're like, fuck him, boom. Yep. All right, um, that brings up to Chris. You just dropped a flashbang. And you've, so, Wilson is blinded, deafened, riddled with bullet holes, and screaming for security. For one minute. Yeah. Security. Security. Um, See how much they can help you, motherfucker. Under my under my trench coat, I have a sling over my shoulder, and velcroed onto my trench is my shotgun, okay. which is coming up. I'm dropping to one knee as I'm racking it, and I'm gonna obviously uh, hit him. While I'm doing this, um, there will begin to be a, a pulsing red glow coming out from under my helmet. Okay. As my as my techno hair is now matching my heartbeat. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Um, definitely a, a cyberpunk style there. Nice little flare. But you need another couple pieces of flare to complete the outfit. Um, oh, don't worry. The ne- next the, round, my tattoos start lighting up. There you go. That's the that's the flare we want in this this facility. All right. So that brings us to Jesse, Jeff, and Vincent. Vincent is drawing a shotgun and shooting Jeff. Um, and counting on his partner to get Wilson out of here. Uh, Jeff, Jesse, what are you guys doing? Hey, Roger. Vincent. <laughs> Popping that guy, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, I, I'm i going to use a dice from the NPC pool. Oops, sorry. Jeff, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> My chem skin and my tech hair are all going to light up. The same orange that's emanating from my helmet is again uh, from under my shit. It'll be pulsating. <laughs> Everybody's hey. like, tech hair and tattoos going crazy. <laughs> chem skin. I'd say the um, <laughs> silver white eyes on my mask start glowing red. I'm going to be shooting the guy that tried to shoot me in the head. The guy who's gun jammed, he just dr- fucking pulled his shotgun. You're like, no, you guys. Yes. So you two are bearing down on him as he's bearing down on, on Vox. Gotcha. Uh, on the 15s, Wilson's shouting for security, uh, and Richard will bend down to give him cover. And basically, you <laughs> see him like go to sh- basically throw him over one shoulder, and he's going to try to cover him and back him out. Uh, he does get his move, though. So his move is, since he's on 15, he'll lift for his, his main action, and then he'll get his move. Uh, he's not going to be able to run the whole way, though. So it's going to be normally seven. So I'll move him three. Unfortunately, there's no partial cover through the bonfire, <laughs> as he will I'll soon fire. find out. We now get to our massive like melee shots of, of insanity here, and Vincent is shooting. Yeah, you guys are still within like a handful of yards. I forgot I have combat awareness too. We're going to use it on spot weakness all the way up to four. So he adds four to his damage if he hits. Damn, uh, bro. He used the dice, and he's got the shotgun. You see it come up out of the trench. It gets fucking cocked and just boom right away. Ouch. He, fail. he used an NPC dice, which he hits with that. So this is going to be plus four. So 20 to your front man. So I will take, uh, I'll yeah. drop my armor down to nine and I will take 10 more damage. Okay. Um, the shotgun's only rate of fire one, so he literally just boom and hits. Um, you know, Vox right in the chest. Staggers back, but you still get your shot off. Damn it. Go ahead, Jess. You can go first. Bye bye, Vince. Nice hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. 15 is respectable. 
Uh, his armor had already been knocked down to 10, so he'll take 5, and the armor will go down to 9. Uh, as you basically just take aim and just shoot with his heavy pistol, the crack just kind of echoes through the chaos of the crowd, and he gets freaking nailed for those 5. Ooh, he looks a little hurt as this kind of goes through. Uh, he's still obviously in fighting shape. Um, you can see, as you're looking at him, um, he's moving a little faster than normal just like his partner was. Like when you hit him, he reacts and recovers a little too quickly. AKA he's probably got some sort of wired reflexes or <laughs> reflex system implanted in him. Um, and that leads us to Jeff's shot. Yeah, him. Do. 13, uh, and that still gets four through and you get his armor down another one to eight. God, that armor's getting fucked up. Uh, he staggers back and you can see in his eyes, especially with your, your level of human perception, he's reconsidering being here right now that's probably a good call yeah regret well, your life choices right okay. before it ends yeah probably Which, should have figured that out when there was only three of you and there was a band of five i mean <laughs> we all to drew out, fucking weapons not smart <laughs> trying to figure out which decision was the wrong one <laughs> which brings us to uh, polly leaving the house this morning, morning was right at the top of the list and polly's no, no, what, wasn't even leaving was just waking up well polly gets now to remind him of how bad of a decision this was how long is a is a, a round? About three seconds. And um, do you need to like take an action of any kind to say something? No. Okay, I'm assuming that our modern um, recording equipment is somewhat voice activated. So I'm just gonna say, uh, hey system, play Death of the Prodigy Dancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this music kicks up again. Chris, it's Polly's go. Cool. You done diddly did attack. That's 27. Uh, and that's on the guy who's carrying Wilson away, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. What? Uh, how much over is that? Uh, three. I have to re roll my damage. It's three, so it's 8d6. Why is the shotgun going yeah, up? Yeah, that shit. Damn! Because I'm using my shotgun. <laughs> but it's only 5d6. It doesn't get a bonus for overage. Oh, it doesn't? No, that was the auto fire that he did. Ah, yeah, auto ah, fire with the machine sure. gun is just like crazy spray. Because yeah. normal damage right. on the Never machine mind. gun is five yeah. d six. Then the first damage, the ten. Okay. Yeah, I was like, did you still do gets some through because his damage drop or his fucking armor drops again? <laughs> uh, actually, Richard hasn't been shot. No, I'd say Richard's the one who's booking oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Dick just got health. shot with a shotgun slug in the ass. Yeah, he got shot in the back, and you'll see that trench. Like it definitely ripples around where he got hit. But the, the slug falls right behind him. Like, he gets definitely kind of jolted forward a second. But much like his partner, you see he recovers very quickly. Because they both got them Kereznikovs. Man, and stop. All right, so that brings us to to Max and CD. Uh, you want me to go first, or do you want to go? I want, I want you to go first. Okay. Because um, you got uh, that crazy use... shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold Not on. only do we have that crazy shit, but I'm also using four of our dice. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> you're going to just roll just in case. Four? Right? I mean, don't yeah. forget luck if, if you're really going to go balls deep on this. So what do you want to use the four for? Because remember, you get basically gives you let, uh, let you do a reroll. Do you want to just have all those rerolls oh, just in case? Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot. I, I, it's, uh, I won't, uh, I'll use them if I need them. Uh, okay. I'll just mark off the one for now for sure yeah. that you know where to use them. So, you got, and you're auto firing again? Uh, yes, sir. All right, who's the target? Is it going to be the uh, Vincent, the guy you already fucked up, or is it going to be the guy running away with the corpo? Uh, well, I thought it, there was a guy over here, uh, somewhere. Um, this so, guy. Yeah, so this, this guy, guy. That's so Wilson is a guy with the the, the coat and like the shirt open. That's the guy who's on the yeah. back of his bodyguard, which is this guy right here. Okay. Playing on my keyboard. Then, uh, this is the guy with the shotgun. Yes. I will shoot the guy with the shotgun because, again, you shoot the lead singer, fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, you want to reroll that because you're auto fire. It's a 20, 22 difficulty. Yeah, I'm just trying Don't to see. You have luck. Um, yeah, How do I you, use that? So your luck attribute is basically a one-for-one one pool to add bonuses to your dice roll. So for every okay. one point of luck, you add a plus one to your roll. Okay. Yeah, and then you just... And your luck on. refreshes every game, right? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I'll, uh, yeah, we'll use one of those for a re-roll. I'll throw some luck in there. Throw and, some stank uh, on it. Okay. Throw some stank. Yeah, let's, try, let's try this shit again. Yeah, I guess it's not meant to be. Oh, did the modifier I, not I hit? rolled a fucking two. Sorry, oh, guys. I, think the I don't know how the counted. fuck. I don't even know how the fuck. So you rolled a two, and then you you're, you have a plus four and a plus eight. Uh huh. So that's going to be your fourteen, and the, oh, and then the five is how much luck you used? Yeah. No, I have two luck, and then I also oh. used precision shot. Right. So that's what. So you had two more. So you got a twenty-one. Still doesn't, <laughs> still doesn't hit. That is 22, isn't it? Yeah, you need 22. So literally, you oh, spray with an assault shit. rifle, and he's just dives to the ground and just rolls effectively. And you just see the bullets just rip and just kick up, you know, dust in the desert ground all over the place. Um, actually, a couple hit the couch next to where Chet is, where he was like, stop! And he just fucking goes, shit! And just dives off to the side. As literally, you just tear the ground apart right next to him. Um, it had a good idea if they'd have killed me after an awesome fucking set. He'd been able to sell a lot of fucking of our first records. <laughs> wow. Before he could sell you a lot need of the to show. Stop wow. thinking about that right the fuck now. That's, that's, that's not the place I thought you'd go mentally. <laughs> <laughs> when we not, when we cap all three of these assholes, we're going to sell a lot of fucking records. Max? Okay, yeah, we are. Uh, I'm going to, do we have any of those dice left? Uh, yeah, you guys have uh, a total of five left. He only used one. Okay, I'm going to use uh, one of those, and then okay. I'm going to uh, blow five luck to try and shoot the guy in the head. Which guy? The guy who, uh, the guy who was just rolling around that Nate missed. Okay, the guy one, so the guy with the shotgun that Nate just missed. The guy who Boom. shot me twice. Yeah, I'm going to try and shoot no, him. No, he only shot me once. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try and shoot him in the face. So you you need a 21 if you don't put any modifiers. And... <laughs> <laughs> that shit happened. I think you hit him. For 30. All right, so here's the way that headshots work, and this is actually kind of cool. Um, so when you hit somebody in the head, let me pull this guy's sheet up, you effectively, whatever gets past the armor, you double that damage. So it can get pretty gross if you get a good deal past the armor. His armor currently is only at an 8. So you get 5 over, so you do 10 to the head. Oh, Jesus Christ. And his armor drops one more. And his armor drops to a seven. So he's at 11 out of 40 hit points. I just want to put that out there. What, um, and just, um, just out of curiosity, he has a, uh, does he have like a cyberware or something like for armor in the head? Uh, no, oh, shit. Son, you're right. <laughs> That's it. Or does he, he got nothing. Have a helmet? He got nothing. Thank you. Yes. No. Uh, let's double that damage. 26. 26. He That's only has he's toast. 21 left. That so sounds better. He goes to get back up, and you pull the trigger, and you just see the bullet enter through your eye and just blows the back of his head out as the body jerks and he hits the ground. Uh, and that brings us to nobody until the top of the round. So shit gets crazy. Dude gets killed. Some gunfires exchanged. Chet has to throw himself to the ground as a chaos ensues. Now, at this point, you'll see Leo and Jose over here See these guys flee and go, you ain't going fucking nowhere. Stop that motherfucker right there! And just shouts. And you'll see a bunch of the nomads start to rush in that direction. It'll take them a second, obviously, to get there, but they're going to kind of effectively block them off. Um, that it leads us to declarations for Sean and Nate. What do you guys plan on doing? Um, okay, so the guys that we're after, um, they're still two up and moving about over Well, here, so this, this guy here... Uh, Wilson, that's the guy who's talking shit. He's currently uh -huh. over the shoulder of the guy to his right, his other bodyguard. Okay. Um, that bodyguard's trying to make his way out, but it looks okay. like a bunch of nomads are starting to kind of show up to try to stop them. How far can we move and attack? Uh, so your movement rating is how many, effectively how many yards you can move or squares you can move per okay. uh, per action, per movement. Okay. Um, so I will uh, flip my, my uh, machine gun to... Um, single shot, and okay. I'll move to the edge of the stage and fire uh, at him, at a controlled fire. Okay. Uh, at the, the bodyguard. Okay. Sean, what do you plan on doing? Um, I will also move to the edge of the stage to get a shot in on the, on the dude trying to run. Okay. 
Uh, which brings us to Chris. What is Polly doing? Uh, I am going to shoot Dick. I feel like he's just getting mobbed by everybody. So, uh, Jeff and Jesse? Oh, Dick. Vincent's going to lay down dead for his turn. Uh, Jeff, Fair. are you doing something different? Yes, I'm stepping back behind us by a little bit here. Uh, and I am going to self-assess uh, with my uh, first aid skill. My balls, my balls, they're gone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop you... any bleeding and anything, because my plan, I'm continuing this fucking show. <laughs> what right. if this is settled? Um, we have one more fucking set to play. How hurt are you? Like, how much damage you got on you right now? I am... You've lost so I'm your... down to 30 from 45. Okay. But right. I have... So... Uh, my first aid is a six, so that's what I'm doing to try and help myself here. So that leads us to the 15s, which is Richard and uh, Blind Man. He'll take two steps and get stopped as we get a bunch of nomads here. They're going to basically block him off. So effectively, you guys see Vox pull back and start you know, trying to stop the bleeding you know, from where he's gotten shot. Uh, Jesse, you're shooting at, at, at Richard. Go ahead. I'm actually no. going to take one of the dice for advantage. I want this dude dead. It's actually more difficult for me to hit him because he's this close with his machine gun. So this is like an embarrassing display of me using the most inappropriate weapon. <laughs> you're like, fuck it. <laughs> but you're not using auto fire, so that's not that bad, right? Uh, you know? No, I no, guess th I, this one I'm not. Guess I don't need that advantage. You do not. Um, but now we're down Damn. to three and three dice, so I'm okay with that. Twelve. Uh, so he takes eight point and the, and the armor goes down by one. He ablates. Was that 23, I could have hit him in the head. You could have. And that would have been a really, really been a bad day for him, to be honest. Yeah. I'm just going to ask here really quick. Is the intention to kill both of them? I'm definitely aiming to kill Dick. I'd say, unless we're stopped, yeah, I'm putting him down. Okay. So, mm. as you guys are shooting, Chet's yelling at you to stop. Do you even pay any attention to him whatsoever? I will stop. Certainly. If it, sure. it, it looks like the, no, the, the nomads are going to like yeah. put up a barrier and stop I'm these not, guys. I'm not going to. I'm not going to endanger the nomads at all. So if they start surrounding them, I don't want to risk a ricochet hitting any of them. Okay. But I'm and not I, putting my. I'm not going to stop aiming. But I won't pull the trigger. Yeah, and it would be right, nice right, to right. know like why why these fuckers are here like are okay. they Militech well, aren't they, they? They're, like, they're here to sign us for a record deal but that's kind of no. blown well, <laughs> so, yeah I don't think so <laughs> so you guys get like another shot or so off on Richard um, just say the armor kind of takes it but then he gets pretty much swallowed by the sea of fucking nomads that pull him aside kind of block him off you see Leo and Jose kind of wait in there to try and grab these guys um, and the crowd's like confused and you see that El, El Pache looks pissed off. Like the leader of the clan looks fucking furious and he's just staring daggers at Chet and Chet just walks over to the guy you guys shot in the head and he's just like, fuck. Fuck. <sighs> You'll see the head of the clan head off. Like he leaves to go to wherever they're holding, where they're pulling back like Wilson and his other bodyguard that survived. He's storming off in that direction. And Chet's just staring at his body, just dumbstruck. Like, he's, like, in a, a loop of fuck that just happened. I'm still with my gun out. Chet, what yep. is going on? I'm you want to explain to me why someone tried to kill my lead singer and the rest of my bandmates? I'm going to turn my attention to fucking Jeff and help him with first aid. Because y'all nearly got him fucking killed by putting the mob against him, probably. Um, but we're fucked. We're fucked. All of us officially are now fucked. You just killed a bodyguard and tried to kill a Continental Brands regional manager. No, they, they tried to kill us, Chet. What were they doing here in the first place? Nobody did you, can see did it, you invite but I'm them? smiling like a motherfucker. Yeah, I fucking oh, yeah. invited them to get the drama on the fucking data pool, and you all <laughs> fucking drew down. Sounds like they you... They fucking fired first, asshole. Because you set a fucking mob of nomads after him. What do you think they were going to do? Um, hey, Chet, did anybody tell you that we're like a 
anti-corporate band. Yeah, and I thought you'd have enough smarts in you not to go off fucking shooting them at a show. We wouldn't have shot them. Dude, they didn't shoot us first. If you Because if, you set them on them. Nah, this is your fuck up, Chad. Yeah, this is your oh, fuck up. It's yeah. my fuck up, but guess what? They're not gonna give a shit, guys. Well, we might as well just eliminate you now so we have one less thing to worry about. Fucking go ahead then. Mm. And just have whoever I've got in my back coming after you too. Huh. No, You're gonna be the first no. corp. Come on. Get back in Ah oh, fuck it, let's kill this guy. I'll, I'll just continue to point at him, aim at him. I'm not going to shoot him. <laughs> I'm just talking shit at this point. Come on. No, we came We came here to Box. perform. Cool. Box. He'll Let whistle, me... and you'll see Tyra pick up her agent. He's, she's like, I got it. I'll call. Let me, let me, let me ice him. signal out here? No. No, no, no. No need. Chet is our manager. Chet is the one that gets us the money. She walks behind the, the merch little right. table you I'll guys I'll put the gun down. For now, we're good. All right. No one's dead. That mattered. And I'll just kind of scrape the blood that I bled all over myself off. And I'll step back and I'll get back to the front of the stage. This fucking guy doesn't know shit about punk rock. I know shit about bands. All right, buddy. And what I set up here was a nice little drama play. Could get you guys a lot of word of mouth on the data pool. That's why we yeah, had cameras set up. in a mosh pit. Ooh. Didn't give us a heads up, did you? Don't yeah. be fucking stupid. You know exactly what you did to set those guys after them. Hey, those those they, assholes they up, brought they guns. They started talking shit. You brought which guns. Been, which would have been fine. I brought a gun. We all brought which fucking been fine. guns. If they didn't so we pull were a supposed gun to let them talk shit, because you be got fine. their asses beat and they're guns. corporate. Hmm. Don't so pretend do to be that dumb. To stop them you from shooting them your off fucking lead singer. Yeah, like I didn't fucking try to get ready to fucking stop this shit. Yeah, after they had already fucking pegged Vox in the dome. Look, look, so, here's the thing. Like, in all fairness, like, everybody at some point in their life, like, myself included, I'll admit it, like, everybody gets their ass kicked sometimes. Like, I've been knocked on my ass. I've been punched in the face. I've lost fights. That doesn't mean that I throw some childish hissy fit and go storm somebody with a gun and shoot at them. And if I did, I would deserve exactly what was coming to me. And that's what these assholes decided to do. In all fairness. You know what? We could try that logic with their fucking security team. They come calling. Here's the thing, Chet. <laughs> I've been fighting against these corporate assholes since I was a worm. Listen, and, CD, and I no, don't give a shit. I'm, I'm not, I don't want, I'm not going to listen to you. Because cool. here's the deal today. He'll turn right around now, and start walking off. I'll cock a gun and I'll shoot at his foot. I'll pull the handgun out which I'm super precise with, and I'll shoot his foot. Okay. If you walk away, I will put a bullet he in the stops. back of you. Tyra, make the call now. She's like, all right, I made the call. I'm doing him. Okay. You'll shoot him. You'll shoot him in the back <laughs> of the head. He'll go down. How about well, you, Tyra? Finish. She runs no, off. No, we can't. She starts She starts running off. You can shoot if you want to. No, I, she, she, does, she didn't do anything. She just works for the asshole. She also didn't like what he was pulling, but didn't know what it was. I... I don't know what to tell you, Vox, but I'm not going to let that shit slide. You guys will we see should... at this point, Tyra takes off. She starts running, you know, across the camp. You can see her easily. She's going for the car that, you know, obviously she had come into a chat. And you'll see the clan lead start walking in your direction. And he's got Leo and Jose on either side of him. He looks yeah, pissed. Well. Yeah. He doesn't have a gun. No, nothing's wrong. He just looks really upset. Oh, I'll have my gun put away already. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, my gun goes back, and I'm just looking at my lead singer, trying to figure yeah. out what the fuck I can do. Shotgun I'm not saying is, you uh, were wrong. Resecured. I'm just saying that fucking guy set us up and put us in a position where he knew that shit was going to happen, so he could fucking extort money out of us or whatever he was doing. Hey, hey guys, he definitely so didn't him. stop them from coming up to the fucking stage. They guys. tried to kill us. Guys, and this is actually the clan head. I think look. you should head out. Yeah. Because we've got to head out too now. I'll start packing up my shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll start <laughs> fucking yeah, like, very quickly. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. There's nothing else to say at this point. I mean, we've okay. already fucking. Yep. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah. It's a disaster. So. Shit. Unmitigated oh. disaster, too. You guys see about 200 bucks just sitting in the merch booth, by the way. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll grab, grab it. it. We'll, yeah. grab, we'll, we'll grab it. Well, we, we pack up the merch. We pack up the money. Okay. Uh, Except so, for what the dude was promised. I'm going to grab, I'll grab one of our shirts because it's already, we already, not, I'll fucking walk over to the guy who, 
I'll, I'll walk over to Chet, and I'll just drape it over his face. Okay. Uh, as you go over there to get the shirts, you'll see two small um, short-range radios underneath the pile of shirts. I'll grab them both. Okay. I'll give them, I'll give them right to Polly. I found these. Check them out. And I, I just, I just, I just push it back into the box. Actually, no, I would, I would give them, Z is our tech person, right? Well, She's no, like, uh, Polly's your tech, tech Z is your net runner. Net runner, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll, all right, cool. Yeah, I don't know anything about either of those. So I'll give them away. Okay. Here, take these. Right. I'll take the box of shirts with the radios in it. All right. So you guys start But yeah, we'll break everything. down quickly um, yep. because we're used to breaking down quickly for when we get kicked out of places while we're trying to practice. Or so much for a yep. fucking triumphant first live gig. Hey, you'll yep. make the fucking news, I'll tell you. Yeah, that. It, it, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Applying um, a loose interpretation of successful, I think. I think where are good. the cameras that, that she set up since she took the fuck off? She didn't set any up. She had it. No, she was taking them. Oh, okay. I thought I thought there were cameras set up. Mm-mm. Okay. No, she didn't set any up. She's the one. She's been taking them all manually. That's why she was getting in position when you guys are playing certain songs and like beforehand, etc. Right. You know, she was doing them herself off of her phone, essentially. Um, so, as the nomads start clearing out, nobody bothers to pick Chet up at all. He's just left there. Um, the suit, though, he is picked up. The yeah. security guard that went down, um, and you'll see that the. Like, as more nomads start clearing out, as you guys are finishing up over there, uh, the bonfires are still going. So it gives you a little bit of light around the camp itself. And you can see across the way, um, the corpo that got fucked up by a flashbang is getting guided into a nice sedan at the edge of the camp. By the, you know, the guy who got shot, but survived, you know. Sure. Uh, I'll go, once we're all packed up, I'll get in the van and I'll go lay in my bed because I've been fucking shot. <laughs> And I'm still, I've lost 15 hit points. I'm not feeling good. No, no. This but is not fun. You're stable, though. You're all right. It's just, it yeah. doesn't feel good at all. Um, so you guys get everything in the van, essentially. It, it all gets packed up without incident. Um, none of the nomads are, like, mad at you guys. Like, the nomads are kind of like, we get this shit happens. They cause some shit, you all defended yourself. So the nomads aren't angry at you. They're just like, we gotta go, because this <laughs> shit wasn't supposed to happen. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, well, let's say, I mean, I mean, the crowd was fucking watching. Yeah. Well, that asshole we, pulled a gun on us. Well, first off, there was like, is this real? Like, or are they fucking around with us? Right. And it was like, oh, shit, it's real. Um, I think we were kind of wondering the same thing. Like, is this dude right. really going to shoot us? Yes. Right. Well, <laughs> fuck, fuck it. You, you, didn't, you didn't come to fucking, you know, throw fists. You fucking pulled a gun. Nah, fuck you. Yeah, my You're first response die. was non-lethal. My, My first, first response, response was, was the biggest fucking weapon I had. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My first response is, fuck those guys up because they're wearing Mine was apparently suits. pinpoint target accuracy. So you guys get in the van. Yeah. Starts up no problem. Um, you can see uh, around you as the campfires are left to kind of burn and slowly die themselves out. Uh, you can see all the headlights from all the vehicles just start splitting off. Um, for Max, they probably got a... a Obviously, a rendezvous location they're all going to go to now. Um, you know, this camp, gunfire, a corporal died, somebody called some shit. There was some sort of, you know, radios that were seen. So they're like, fuck it, we need to leave, just in case. All right, so that wraps a rather tense part of our session. We had a bit of a shouting match and gunfire, a lot of gunfire, but only lasted about six seconds. They only went through two rounds and into a third before things got a little out of hand there. So it ended on a rather interesting note. Uh, I know that the scene was a little bit tense there when Chet was yelling at the rest of the band, but we're all good. Everybody's uh, used to that level of us getting like in character and just going at each other when stuff goes crazy, especially since their manager was actually selling them out, kind of. So they got Chet down, managed to escape, and now they're leaving the Nomad camp and heading out. We'll see what happens in the next episode.